Justice League action brings the full league together in an animated series for the first time in a decade, and features an almost endless roster of your favorite heroes and villains. We've got character designer Shane Glines here with an exclusive look at the premiere episode. It's another Jin creature in disguise. The wizard Shazam warned us of this. Keep your distance. The last one we confronted drained our powers. He's welcome to try. You need to be careful. I need to get this thing off the streets and back to the Rock of Eternity. Which is why I'm sending backup. I don't need backup. Sorry, uh, you're, you're cutting out. I don't need it. <laughs> How do you like that move? I have the agility of a cat. Cats land on their feet. Shane, thanks for joining us on DC All Access. My pleasure. Let's talk a little bit about Justice League action. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the characters that we're going to see in the show? Yeah, you're going to see all the people that, most of the people that you probably want to see in the show. There's a lot of surprises. There's the main characters like Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and Booster Gold. A few more obscure characters that we're bringing back, like Space Caddy. What is your design approach? working on Justice League action, especially like what it is like to redesign characters like the Trinity, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Uh, it's it's tough. I, I've worked for a lot of the Bruce Timm shows and his versions of these characters I think are sort of the their best version so it was a bit of a challenge trying to come up with a different take when I admire those so much. All right, so let's unpack some of the designs of these characters. Starting with Batman, I noticed his design, he has claws, he's a lot more spiky, and the bat symbol takes up a lot of his chest. Now, what were some of the elements that you were thinking about while designing the new look of Batman? It was really cool to get a chance to do my take on Batman, um, but it was definitely a challenge. I, I'd always wanted to see him kind of cat-like instead of doing the really big, muscular Batman that you tend to see now in video games and the live-action movies. I wanted to keep them very live and streamlined, and for whatever reason, I gave him those kind of claw-like hands without even really planning to. And I thought it worked, and it was a little bit different than what we'd seen. Can I talk us through your design of Superman for Just League Action? Superman's one of the toughest ones because he can be kind of bland and generic. Um, so. I, want, I decided to make him, to contrast Batman, make him very thick and um, give him this kind of big bull neck. Um, I went with the, the, the kind of squinty eyes because that's how I... Very old school kind of yeah, first one. Yeah, because yeah, I really like that, like the old Fleischer cartoons. Um, they gave him that kind of squint, so I kept that. All right, so tell me a little bit about your Wonder Woman design. Wonder Woman was fun because I enjoyed drawing the, the female characters in the show a lot. And, Again, like Batman and Superman, it's kind of, it was a challenge to come up with a new twist on it. So one thing I really want to know is with designing all these characters on Just League Action, is there a design philosophy? Is there a bedrock rule? Well, they told us early on, fun, but not funny. So to me, that meant big, simple shapes, not boring shapes, but just big, graphic shapes that pop and read immediately. And um, I carried that into the color approach. So each character only has two colors that identify them. Yeah, and maybe with a, a third, uh, a third color like um, Martian Manhunter, green and red, um, Doctor Fate, blue and yellow. Like, and we carried that kind of throughout the show. Wait, can you tell us just a small nugget about what is just the action? It is fast action. Uh, there's a little bit of humor in it. I think maybe the fans are thinking it might be like Teen Titans Go, but it really isn't. It's definitely it's got more of a focus on action with a little bit of humor in there. It's a lot of fun. Great. Looks like an awesome show. Thanks for talking to us today, Shane. That's it for now, but if you need more Justice League, you can read the Dark Side War one-shot in the new Power of the Gods Collected Edition. See you tomorrow, and watch out for Dark Side.